Anybody ever notice that TP is toilet paper and PT is paper towel? No one ever thought about that? Like, who thought of those two things? Here, Brie. Have a rag. What's going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a device that, oddly enough, I picked up for the purposes of the review and... I was sent. I actually reached out to the company. I said, I need to get in touch with the CEO of the company because I really, really want to get down, get dirty with it, ask them some questions. That isn't really going to expose or anything about them. Just a lot of questions I have about the company. I do want to point this out, though. Apparently, this company has been trying to reach out to me for a long time, and it was going into, like, my spam inbox in regards to doing reviews for the products. So, you know, they don't care how I review it as long as I keep it real and I don't say anything negative. It... To me, that fascinates me when a company says that. However, I've been told that before by companies, and now those companies no longer deal with me. because they, And it's not even a matter of me breaking it. Just they, they don't want to hear anything negative. I get the idea of, oh, man, he's going to go outside, he's going to break it. So you make the product good enough to where it, it doesn't need to be broken to make a point that it's a piece of shit. I picked one of these up, and the other two were sent to me. Okay, here, here's the kicker. I did not think that Lost Vape liked me anymore because of the reviews that I do. Especially at Lost Vape, I gave them shit for the Centaurus. They didn't send that to me, though. They didn't send me any of the high-end stuff. They just sent me this. But apparently they were like, you know what? We're just going to take a shot in the dark and we're going to send you a couple. And then hopefully you get them and you do the review on it. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And what this looks like is the Lost Vape Gross that I did a review on. You'll find right here. And then they made a pod system that goes on top of it. The Vaporesso Swag PX80 kind of does the same type of situation. And I've been using the shit out of that. It does have a lot of problems. But that, that's, an, that's neither here nor there. So this, when you look at it, has two different things, right? So you have a 510 connection and then a pod. Now, I, I liked the gross or the gross, whatever it was, but there was some problems, you know, with standing up. But all in all, it wasn't a bad device, right? I didn't break it. So that, that tells you right there that it's at least decent. So what we're going to be looking at is the Ursa. Now, I do have two color configurations that are essentially exactly the same. Uh, one I purchased, and you'll see the difference of how I purchased it on the back side of the box versus the one that they sent me. There's kind of a different sticker. But let me bring it down, show everything inside of the box, and give my final thoughts on it. This might be Lost Vape's first pod PMP type of configuration, which we know how much I love those. And I'm not being facetious, so without further ado, flip it. So this is the version that they sent me, and again, this is the other one, right? So this one actually looks better than the one that they sent me, which is also the one that I bought. So on the back side of this box, the red sandal version, I think it's sand yeah, sandalwood. Kind of see it down there on the bottom. Now, when you look at the upper corner, there's nothing there. However, when you purchase it in the States, you will see that little sale only allowed in the United States. So what we're going to actually look at, though, is the other one because I... The front of the box is actually the presentation of what it is. On the front of the box, and again, the, you, this does look very, very eerily similar to this. Now, this was the gross. Feels very, very solid, and it allowed you to put a really, really big RDA, RTA on top of it. I think it was 30 millimeters, 28. Yeah, 30 millimeter, no problem whatsoever. This kind of has what appears to be an adapter and the pod situation. Having the adapter, why wouldn't they just release this with that to begin with? Seems weird, uh, unless that's just a comparison. We'll see when we open it up. And then on the side of the box, now, oddly enough, there is two different coils for this, the UB and the UB Pro. Type-C fast charging, I uh, like that. It doesn't say USB, although that's what it is. 21700, 2700, 18650, and then 510 adapter, right? So it does come with that. I don't know why you would buy this when you could buy this. Okay, on the side of the box. And then on the back side of the box, let me zoom in. Give that a freeze frame for you. Okay, so here you go. Check this out. You have the 6 mil Ursa pod tank and then the 6, 7 mil Ursa Pro pod. So Pro is the difference here. But you get a Pro coil here and then a regular coil here. So one coil for this, one coil for that. Such a big box. I would hope that they would give you more than just two coils. Set of O-rings. Very nice. And then on the bottom, you're going to have a scratch and sniff, and that's going to taste and smell exactly like an aluminum can. 
let's open it up. Here we go. It's a very, very big box, so I don't know if I'll be able to fit all of it in the screen. Very nice presentation. Wow. Okay. So that is the device, and you can see that it is, in fact, sealed up. Okay. Uh, I definitely like that more. I'm going to try very little to touch much of this. And then underneath here, holy cow. Wow, wow, wow. Get a little warranty card, a user manual, two coils. You can tell the difference, right, by looking at one's more of a chubby version. The other one is skinny. Another tank, an adapter. That looks very well made. And then inside of here is probably going to be just your cable. And there's a little adapter to go with an 18650. And this is, of course, a USB Type-C. I've mentioned this on a lot of videos, whether it is a Lost Vape video or any video of how these companies have really started to die down in quality. And we went over this on Inside the Minds. I'll go ahead and plug that up there on the top. But what, what you've noticed is the, the quality has just gone down lower and lower and lower and lower. And it seems like, just looking at this, that they made this so much better. A little bit of funky monkeys there on the side. And I guess that's kind of the locking clip mechanism. I don't see any scratches on it, but it definitely is. It could have been finished up a little bit better. I feel like they could also just polish out with a microfiber cloth. That is essentially the same exact thing that's on the top of the gross. Same diameter and everything. So the extra one that you get is the regular pod tank. And then you see your drip tip on the top. The one that comes on there has a drip tip which looks to be an 810 configuration. That's exactly what it is. So you're able to use your own drip tip. Definitely first approach there. And the best part of it is you don't have to take the tank off to fill it up. Now, looking at the two of them side by side, they're very, very similar stock. And then you could tell that this one here is going to be more used for a very, very open type of draw. This is more restrictive in a sense. You could just tell by looking at it. This one here is the pop tank. And you would think just by looking at it that this would hold more juice because the coil is smaller not so much this is six this is seven but where it really changes is the height of it so as much as the coil is bigger and this is probably the tank i'm going to go for just because it's going to be more airflow and a bigger coil and more power i'm going to go with that one this they're saying is really for mouth to lung and to be really specific oddly specific about it this coil does look to be proprietary kind of looks like a vupu coil but it has a very very weird configuration on the bottom small little cutouts and this is 40 to 60 watts 0.2 and then the bigger one again very proprietary hopefully lost vape just keep rolling this like and that's my best advice for lost vape is don't don't do what all these companies do smoke if you're gonna run with this roll with it and just keep making these coils and if you want to update the tank fantastic at least at that point keep the coils rolling so they're cross compatible and then this one the pro coil is 0 0.157090 90 watts. So not really much of a difference. And that's just gonna kind of slide in like that. But then this is not magnetic. It actually threads in. That is very different. And your airflow, very, very, very good machining on this. What you would do if you wanna use this guy, you just kind of put this in, push these clips in on the side, and then that's in. That looks almost identical to this. You do have this kind of circular situation where it does protrude a little bit. Both of them being a 21700, you just see because of what they did with the pod situation, they just made this that much larger. And really, that's just to compensate for the top, but that does allow you to actually swap that and use this as you would a regular gross or gross whatever. So just popping that out, you see that did actually spring out pretty well. Slides out nice. The tolerances are very, very, very tight. And then this again, just kind of push it. Let's see if you don't need to hold those little tabs. Let's see what they're made of, actually. Metal. Actually, metal. You see that? Zoom in a little bit. Very well made. I can tell you that I am actually impressed. Yeah, you kind of have to push them in and then your airflow adjustment and then you fill that right there. So let's put a battery on the inside of this. Kind of looks like a DNA 75C configuration, but it's probably gonna be proprietary just because, well, that's what Lost Vape has been doing lately. 
Battery cap, not the biggest fan of. Hate these twisties, but at least it has some type of grippy situation. And then on your battery cap, you do see that negative, and it does appear to have three venting holes. People will argue and say that you need them for mods. You really don't. I mean, a regulated mod should not, and even if you look down there, there's a little positive on, you see it? On oh, a little contact, how nice. You know, people will argue and say that you need it for a regulated mod. You really don't. You really don't. And that is spring-loaded. Look at that. Very nice. So you don't have to worry about that getting too loose. Let's take this off real quick. Let's do the quick release, just so we don't burn out the coil. And then your screen does appear to be different. Power, wattage, pod, mod. Oh, look at that. That's cool. What is this? Different users? Different settings, maybe. Soft, normal, hard. Wow, you, when's the last time you've seen that in a mod? Puff count, I guess that resets it. And then setting, holy macaroni. Screen, you could adjust the brightness. User, there you go. So it's kind of like a preset. You can set the resistance. Uh, you can also adjust the power. And then, of course, the way it hits. And then save each one of those. That is really, really, really cool. If we go to Atomizer, what do we have? Nothing. And then there's your version. It might be one of the nicest chips that Lost Vape has used. And then your battery percentage up there and the resistance at 0.5. Very, very simple to use. Let's fill this up. We're going to wait about five minutes. And, of course, we're going to use right side up, which is what I always use. That's quite a gouge that they did there. Big chunk of an area cut out. I'm going to be using right side up, which is a pineapple cream soda. Use it in all of the PNP pod type systems. So I feel like we shouldn't have much of a problem here. Seven mils is a lot of juice inside of this tank. I'll tell you what, though, if this actually used the DNA, this may swap out because I have now originally stopped using the Vupu version and went over to the Vaporesso. So we'll just set that back on. Push these two in. Make sure it's locked in. New atomizer. Yes. And it's picking up at a 0.18 out of the 0.2. So that's it. We'll let that sit for about five minutes. Or you could always just prime it where it, well, priming is going to be very difficult with this. That is the Lost Vape Ursa and the Quest chip. Let's bring it. Back on top. All right, here we go. Back on top of the Lost Vape Ursa. Now, when I did the review on the gross, right, I, I do believe it was an eight. I would have gave it if we used a different chip because it just felt solid and it looks like it would house a DNA 75, but it's that proprietary chip. I don't know why Lost Vape, and this is why I really want to get down and talk to the CEO or the owner of the company or the design team or whatever as to why they stopped using DNAs because Lost Vape for the longest time. Look at the theory on it. Look at the E Petite series. Absolutely fantastic. And I'm not going to lie to you. If I had to pick between this one and this one, it'd be this. Why? It's a little bit bigger, but also the base is larger. So that means less chances of it falling about. you yeah, falling about. Or that, that works. Falling over because of the surface area in the bottom of the mod. We'll bring this to, we'll say, 35 watts. And airflow all the way open. I do absolutely adore the fact that it has this adapter. Guys, if this had a DNA. Okay, here we go. Let's see the vape production. Let's see the flavor. That is a lot of airflow. We're going to need a whole lot more power. 50 watts. Still, more power. Holy cow, that is a lot of airflow. 67.5 is what we're going to run this at. Here we go. Guys, that is a lot of airflow. That's a lot of flavor. My goodness. Okay. Wow. Eight volt cutoff. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Be a little bit happier with nine, but I'll take eight. Why is it that other companies only do seven or six volt cutoff? On a dual battery. Come on, man. Come on. Put that boost ship in there and stop playing games. Wow. It's too much airflow all the way open. Way too much. We're going to cut that down. We'll go halfway. 
Now, keep in mind I'm using the Pro version versus the smaller coil. I can tell you right now, without even using the smaller coil, this is going to wick better, the bigger one, just because the ports are bigger, the coil is bigger, there's less cotton, so you'll have less likelihood of having to do the little trick where you kind of flick up the cotton. Definitely better than the Gross Mod, hands down that much better. It even feels better. It, it, it's about the same weight, but whatever the texture is on this feels much smoother than this stainless steel. I think it's stainless steel. I don't think it's zinc alloy. That might be stainless steel. It feels good, and I like the built-in pod. A lot of people are like, you're going to hate it, Jay. Why? You clearly don't watch me. I love these style of tanks, and I love the idea of being able to take this, and it comes with the adapter already. How many times have we seen these PMP pods where now they're... They don't even come with the adapter for the pod to go in. The pod goes into the mod. So it's like, well, we couldn't really pigeonhole you into something else. But now, you can't use this mod for shit unless you use a third-party adapter. Nope. Lost Fape was like, here's your adapter. I'm trying to get on my good side. That's what you're trying to do. I do have some negatives, though. The chip is proprietary. I get it. They make more money that way, but it was much better when it was a DNA. And more people would be prone to buy this because when you look at the Lost Fate Mirage, even to this day, which is a fantastic 21700 mod. Some people said that they don't like it. I loved the mod. The, the, the screen was a little funny. The way it was curved, it just... Hold on a second. This is the Lost Fate Mirage. Fan. Fantastic mod, DNA 75, but they had this weird bubbled screen, so it kind of made it look skewed, but it was fantastic. If they put that chip inside of here, why not? You already have that type of configuration. I feel like you could convert the, like this chip to use this, or not this chip, this mod to use the 75C. And the, and the quick release... If you wanted to swap out the coil on this, you do have to kind of pop this off, or you could unscrew it. Either way, you do have to disassemble it. It's not as simple as just being magnetic. They kind of got you in the whole screw mechanism, but coming with the adapter is, it's almost like don't, I don't want to say don't buy this, but if you're into pods like I am, and I'm saying pods, like these little mini sub-ohm tanks, and it's not that large because it goes halfway inside of the mod. Yo, and being able to fill the tank up without having to disassemble it so many times. And this is on, you know, this is on me. When I, well, no, it's not. It's actually on the coils. There's so many times I'll be using the Fupu Jammy, or now I use the Vaporesso, but to, to take it apart, usually you get a lot of pool of juice on the bottom. But the Vaporesso Jammy that I'm using, you just kind of move the tab over like you do on the top. I don't know why Vupu didn't do it, but now Lost Vape kind of made, they, they upped their game. They said, okay, you want to make a PMP pod system? We'll do the same thing. Plug and play. That's what PMP means. And then now you have an adapter to use your own device. I don't know what I could say negative aside from the chip. It feels good. I don't like the battery contact. That could have changed. But I prefer this type of battery contact and those little hinge shits where they fall apart. <clears throat> you could have made this really cool where you... Okay. I'm not going to give it away too much, but you could have made it a different way. All in all, between this and the gross or the gross, this is what I would pick. If I had to rate this device on a 0 to 10, I'm going to give it a 7 to a 7.5. What's holding me back from that 8 or an 8.5 is the chip. The coils, I, I really don't know if I want to waste a whole nother tank. Because you get both of them anyway. So you could just pick and choose which one you want. And I, I already know, though, me using the other coil, I'm going to prefer this one over that. It's good, man. <laughs> And an 8-volt cutoff. So nice. You'd be surprised how many of these PNP type of systems have like a 5-volt or 4.2-volt cutoff. Not good. It's got to be one of Lost Vape's best products that they've made yet. I mean, I, I did like this. I did. And I know a lot of people do. But this is 100% better than this one. Just because of that apparatus on the top. And I've kept it real. Have you?